Hi guys, this is Roger Eastlick with another internet marketing productivity tool. This time it's um, a tool called Snagit, which allows you to capture any part of your screen as a still image or as actually as a video now with Snagit 11. And what I want to show you in this video is how to set up uh, keyboard shortcuts which makes it so that capturing either, either an image or a video um, of on your screen is as easy as pressing print screen literally or you can make it a combination of two keys like I'll show you how to do and um, so you can spend a minimum amount of time and get the maximum amount of use out of Snagit. So in order to, by the way, uh, snag it in case you're having problems opening it and finding it. Once you've installed it, it is under TechSmith folder and then snag it 11. If you go ahead and open that up, then it'll look like this. To so create a shortcut, uh, keyboard shortcut, first you create a profile. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create one called um, Region. I think by default this is all in one. I'm going to create one called Region. So I'm going to come down here and select region. I'm going to share it to my clipboard with no effects and I'm going to allow it to preview in the editor. Now I'm going to go up here to click uh, save as new profile. It's going to save it automatically under my profiles but it's fine. First I want to give it a um, shortcut. I want it to be F9 that way because um, I'd use print screen but on this keyboard uh, I have to actually press two keys to get to uh, it's a laptop have to press two keys to get to the print screen button I just want one button I want to make it as fast as possible since I do this a lot um, and the name by default is region dash clipboard that's fine all I'm going to do is click the save button and now it, this profile shows up under my profiles um, I'm going to make a couple more here real quick. A lot of times the scrolling images doesn't or scrolling web pages doesn't really work. The automatic uh, the automatic uh, included profile. So what I'm going to do is go up to here. I'm going to um, click on I'm going to go to advanced and then custom scroll. Click on that. And I'm going to save that to my clipboard and I'm going to add this to my my profiles click on the plus up here um, custom scroll dash clipboard is fine I want to give it the hotkey of control F1 and I'm gonna save that and the last one I'm gonna do is using the cool video feature they now have in uh, uh, Snagit 11 so what I want to do is I want to have it a video I want it to be a region so I, that means I just get to define sort of on the fly what section of the screen it grabs. I'm not going to share it for the moment automatically and I'm going to add that to as a um, profile to my profiles. I'm going to give it the uh, the name is region I want it to say video dash region it's just a labeling thing. I'm going to give it the, the shortcut key of control and then F2 And save it, and we're good to go. Now let me show. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to hit the the uh, F9 key, and I get these bars that pop up. I'm going to left click with my mouse and drag across here really quickly. It snaps two images pretty well. And let go of it, and there I've got my screen capture. That's the screen capture of a you know specific specific area of your screen. Um, the other thing, if, if you want to see a scrolling web page now, let's say I want to get a scrolling web page, I go over here to what I want to capture. I'm going to hit Control F1, and my you'll see the cursor turns into a hand with a crosshairs on it. I'm going to drag. I'm going to drag this over here. Um, I'm going to left click with my mouse and drag it over to the lower right hand corner of my screen. And now I'm going to click the down arrow, start to scroll. It scrolls down to the bottom bottom of the page, captures it, and that's what this looks like over here. 
So here's the page I've captured. As you can see, it captured not just the screen you could see in the beginning, but it actually scrolled down and captured the entire web page. Pretty cool, huh? The last one we're going to do is um, going to capture video. Looks like a video right down here. Let's capture that. So my shortcut key, remember, was going to be Control F2 for video capture. I get those crosshairs again. I'm going to move that over to this little box over here and it kind of senses where that box is. I'm going to uh, let go of my left mouse key. I get this box right here which says it's ready to record. I'm going to click on the record button. By the way, you can select your audio input device. You can't really, do, it doesn't look like you can actually do the system audio, but um, you can choose your device. I use a Logitech headset, USB headset, which I highly recommend. And I'm going to click on the record button and it starts recording. I'm going to start the video inside the video. Oh, guess what? Look at that. Best with I didn't do this before. So, is it really surprising the piles of notes in the Okay, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to always get the job done. Well, we actually I'm going to stop that. To help us get the point across, especially on And you can see That's why we made that such recording. I'm going to start the video inside the video. Oh, guess what? Look at that. images and videos. So that's a video. That's how you do so screenboard captures. Let me see if I can error message. Don't waste time. There you go. So that's how you create short but short board uh, sh uh, sh keyboard shortcuts in uh, Camtasia uh, in uh, Snagit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is Roger Reeslick. Thanks for watching.